Welcome to Bookwise. Today we delve into the captivating world of cognitive psychology and decision making. In this video, we'll explore the key insights from the book, Thinking, Fast and Slow, by Daniel Kahneman. This book takes us on a journey through the two systems of our mind, shedding light on how they impact our daily choices, biases, and decision making processes. So, let's get started with our exploration of System 1 and System 2. System 1 and System 2 are the stars of this show. System 1 is the intuitive, impulsive, and automatic side of your brain, handling everyday tasks and decisions. It's innate and often unconscious, influencing your choices more than you might realize. For instance, it's what helps you instantly recognize objects, react to loud noises, or remember that London is the capital of England. However, it's not without its flaws, which we'll explore further. On the other hand, System 2 is your deliberate, logical, and slow thinking process. It requires conscious effort and is crucial for tasks that demand focused attention. One intriguing aspect is how System 2 can influence System 1. For example, it can help you find someone in a crowd by setting a specific goal. But remember, System 2 requires effort and can't multitask effectively. What's fascinating is that these two systems work together, often in harmony. Emotions from System 1 complement logical reasoning from System 2. For example, when playing a sport like tennis, both systems play crucial roles. However, problems can arise when we over-rely on System 1 or encounter situations outside our routine, leading to conflicts between the two systems. Enter heuristics, the mental shortcuts we use to make decisions efficiently. While they save us time and energy, they can also lead to cognitive biases and prejudices. These biases are often at the root of poor decisions and misinterpretations. Kahneman introduces us to some common biases like confirmation bias, framing effects, and base rate neglect. Let's dive deeper into the biases and heuristics that influence our decision making. Confirmation bias, for instance, makes us seek information that confirms our existing beliefs, potentially leading to tunnel vision. Meanwhile, framing effects show how the way information is presented can sway our choices. We'll also explore base rate neglect, availability bias, and the sunk cost fallacy, which all play a part in shaping our decisions. Regression to the mean is a statistical concept that humans often misinterpret. We tend to see streaks of luck, good or bad, as predictive of future outcomes, even when they're not. Kahneman highlights how our illusion of understanding, the illusion of validity, and expert intuition can lead us astray in these situations. We'll delve into examples of planning fallacies and how optimism can cloud our judgment. Hindsight is a powerful influence on our decision-making. Kahneman shows us how our view of past decisions is skewed by the outcomes they produce, rather than the soundness of the process itself. We'll discuss how this can impact various professions, including physicians, financial advisors, and politicians. Humans tend to be risk-averse, meaning we prefer to avoid uncertainty and potential losses. This aversion to risk can influence our choices, sometimes causing us to choose a sure thing over a gamble, even when the expected value favors the latter. We'll delve into the psychology behind risk aversion and its implications. Loss aversion, a concept introduced by Kahneman, explains how we are more motivated to avoid losses than to achieve gains. This affects our decision-making in various aspects of life, from financial choices to goal-setting. We'll explore how this concept can lead to suboptimal decision-making and why people often accept desperate gambles. Kahneman's insights challenge the assumption that our decisions are always in our best interest. Our memories, which are not always accurate, play a significant role in shaping our choices. We'll discuss how the human mind's inherent inconsistencies can lead to less than optimal decisions. Lastly, we'll explore how our memories can be unreliable, as they tend to emphasize intense moments of pleasure or pain, often neglecting duration. Kahneman's work highlights the impact of our emotional well-being on decision-making, and how we sometimes construct inaccurate narratives about our past experiences. In conclusion, Thinking, Fast and Slow, by Daniel Kahneman provides valuable insights into the intricacies of human decision-making, exposing the biases and heuristics that influence our choices daily. Understanding the interplay between these two systems can help us make more informed decisions. 
We hope you found this summary enlightening and that it encourages you to explore the full book for an even deeper understanding. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content.